Be sure to get my free audiobook, The Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. All right. I got another one of those comments that just caught me at the time when I had time to reflect. <sighs> Lord, 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 Lord. I don't know what it is. I don't fully understand it. But there seems to be two Americas. Two. Maybe three. Maybe four. Maybe five. Black America, White America, Asian America, Hispanic America. For me, there's one America. You know, America, United States of America, that's it. I'm getting more and more attention on this channel. It's growing. And I'm getting more nut jobs. If you are a black person, or if you choose to call yourself African American, whatever makes you feel comfortable, and you come to this channel with uh, bullshit comments, they'll be deleted and I'll move the fuck on. Like, this is the thing. America is a place of systems. And there are some black people who feel that due to this, they can't be successful. And it's like, this just gets in the world. Oh, no. I walk in the room, I'm fucked. And if that's your thought process, then that's exactly what you are. Fucked. Fucked beyond belief. Because... I keep hearing stuff and I keep seeing stuff and I'm just like every time there's some major crime thing like the guy in Tulsa, Oklahoma that pretty much committed a premeditated felony assault and there's like oh no the system screwed no he was a dumbass the whole deal and the reason I'm doing this rant is if you're a black person and you want to start a business in America you can if you're a black person and or African American view. I stop. I didn't go with that because my name's Glendon. That's what you can call me. My name is Glendon. This whole mythology, because essentially, if you were born in America after 1930, 40, 50, you're a mutt. You're not full bred, whatever. I mean, you're a mutt. Most people are mutts. They're just an agglomeration of all different kind of cultures. And when you do the DNA test, it's like, whoa, wait a minute. I look this, but this is what's on the inside. And it's a useless, useless, useless conversation. But I say this to progressive black people who are not caught up in the bullshit of, well, since you're black, you need to learn these lessons. Maybe, just maybe. Perhaps you need to learn how the system that we currently are in operates. Because every time I see someone on Facebook, other than the Trayvon Martin incident and a few other ones where essentially kid was doing nothing. He got gunned down by an overzealous racist in my opinion. When you look under the hood, there's usually some other stuff clunking. And there's this whole thing of us against them and I teach people how to think and I teach people how to make money as a living and I talk to a lot of people around the world. People are people. People are people. And this whole notion that the white race is planning the demise of the black race is ludicrous. And I'm going to give you some stuff. Just, just hear me out. The numbers. The United States of America has 310 million people. Out of that 310 million, 230 are white. 40 million plus are black. Just the sheer numbers, if that was the plan, shit would have happened a long time ago. The average American doesn't give two shits about what's not in their own backyard. That's reality. <laughs> that's, that's reality. Average American does not give two shits. You know, an event happens or, you know, they send some money to some little kids in Africa or, you know, 9-11 and people come together as we should. But the reality is day to day, it's just like what's going on with me is the most pressing thing in most Americans, whether you're black, white, green, purple or a Martian on here on a uh, gal gal was it? a universal visa or something shit like that. People are not planning or attacking. The reality is many people, white, black, Hispanic, even Asian, 
are under financial assault because the system is changing faster than many people can keep up with it. And there are people who five years ago had great jobs, great careers. Now they find themselves working at Starbucks or Walmart or Home Depot or Lowe's because that's the only damn job that they can find. Black, white, green, purple. I have a friend who was a victim of overt sexual harassment. For the sake of this conversation, she's black. The, for the sake of this conversation, the guy who committed the harassment and it was overt and it was he left evidence was white and she was like well what are they gonna do I was like he's getting fired I told her from the minute she told me the story I was like he's gonna get fired two and a half weeks later he was gone that right that's right this black woman went ahead through the system and got this white VP fired because no corporate country I don't care they don't get to a little black no if you prove yourself to be a sexual harasser and there's proof chances of your ass being gone are pretty high white green purple whatever why because people aren't playing that the, the playing field is not by any stretch of the imagination level but it's getting there and if you use the system correctly the system will work for you and i'm saying this to my younger black folks that don't get caught up in that oh, well you know we need to learn the different no <clears throat> you need to learn a sound financial you need to get yourself a sound financial education and you're not going to get that in virtually any university you're going to get that from starting a business uh, talking to business owners grooming a network of uh, hustlers business owners entrepreneurs that's where you're going to get that sound business education that will take care of you in these hard times not we we need to learn this because we I just get so fucking tired of seeing that whiny bullshit because the fact of the matter is and I'm going to say this and I have people challenge me look I'm a black guy it don't rub off. It, it, it doesn't. I never tried, but you know, it doesn't rub off. And I put this face on this YouTube channel since uh, July, since August 6, 2009. And a good many of my customers, people who pay me money, real money that spends, are white. Asian, international. If you have the message, you have the ability. You have the gall to put your stuff out there and it's good. It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't fucking matter. And I am sick and tired of some black folks using that shit as a crutch. Does racism exist? Yeah, it does. But it's not the racism that I, my grandmother faced or her grandmother faced or my grandfather. Or the, it's not the same. It is not the same. You can navigate, you can move, you can improve, you can build that life you want. But there are some black folks who are stuck on, it's just hard for me because I'm black. That goes into my scared little bitch category because you don't, if you got the goods, you're going to get put on. You got the goods, you're going to get put on. You, you can make a way. You can create a business. You can do so many things. This whole woe is me, we black, we fucked up bullshit. I don't associate with black folks like that. I hear that come out your mouth and we are like at an event or a meeting. I'm just not hanging out with you anymore because I'm not going to let your cesspool negative attitude inflict my positivity with that virus of hopelessness. And, you know... Just for you new folks who are coming here and you don't come with that. We black sh don't, 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 don't. It is just a waste of your time and a waste of my time. It's not really going to improve your situation, the whining and the bitching. Someone left a comment on a video and didn't even watch the video. Just heard a few things and just went off onto a rant. And I, I looked at it and I was like, why is this person doing this? And it's like, oh. The self-perpetuating mythology that if you're black, you're fucked. If you are black and you don't commit crimes, the chances of you getting arrested are slim enough. Now, sometimes people get arrested for not doing shit. Black, white, purple. Shit happens. The system's not infallible. But the chances are you at home reading a book on a Friday night and the police coming to your door and picking your ass up for reading a, a philosophy book or watching a Khan Academy video pretty damn slim to none now if you're out with your boys and one of your boys is riding dirty and he's got an illegal gun on him and you get pulled over chances of you getting fucked pretty damn high pretty damn high 
you should watch who the fuck you associate with. There are some people who will, under this street code where we're not going to rat each other out, you riding with four dirty fools and you get caught up and because you're trying to keep that code, you put your freedom and your future in jeopardy over bullshit. Now, I'm doing this video and I'm putting it on my main channel because I think people need to hear this because I am like sick of this stuff. It's just, oh my God. Every day somebody's like, I'm black and I can't be successful. That's bullshit. You have pretty much just given up before you even started. I'm a college dropout. I have a speech impediment. I'm mildly fucking dyslexic. And I was able to fashion a very nice for my life for myself in this society with this stuff. Yeah, I look at it as an asset. I walk in the room, people know who the fuck I am. It's like, oh, the black guy? Yeah, I'm easily recognizable. I got a good friend who travels around the world, and he's very rare in what he does. And he told me, he's like, I'm the only black guy, and I love it because I'm memorable. It's just an asset. It's not a curse. It's an asset. It's how you choose to use it. If you just sit there and suck on sorrow grapes all day long, that's your life. That's your choice. But for the new folks... Welcome to the G-Verse and understand you're going to get unfiltered truth, you're going to get unfiltered commentary as well as the training videos, as the stories. And like I said, don't leave that weak ass African American bullshit on my channel. I will delete that shit. Fuck that shit. That is some of the weakest thing. We live in a time of unbridled opportunity. You don't have to go to college to get education now. YouTube, Ustream, uh, you there's, there's so many pockets of education and knowledge on the net. It's just ridiculous if you choose to remain stupid and ignorant. It's a choice. It's a choice. And, it's, and I see it because I am the antithesis of what many of these, and mostly men, mostly men, it's very rare that it's black women, it's mostly men, they come on this channel and they see me and they're just like, ah, I need to take him down a little bit. Oh, he's not black enough. Oh, he uses the Queen's English too much. Oh, it's not doing shit to me. You're actually proving that you ain't shit. Because one thing that happens when you're happy, one thing that is evident when you have a good life, when you see other people happy, it enriches your happiness. But when you're miserable, when your life sucks, when things aren't going the way that you want, you want to reach out and blame someone. And I'm going to give you some help with that. Go in the bathroom and look in the mirror. That's who you should blame. Because each one of us has a choice on how we can build our life. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I'm just telling you it's going to be worth it. Because I am sick of this. It's 2014. And you still got people saying, oh, I can't be successful because, you know, the master won't let me. If you were really, really paying attention to current events, a lot of people that you would classify as master are catching hell themselves. You know, it, it just cracks me up. It's like if you don't have Asian friends, white friends, and you go to like a wedding, and you get to know people intimately, go to their home for birthday parties. You understand people are people. And a lot of people, regardless of. This are catching hell because these are some rough times for the uneducated and uninitiated people. These are rough, rough times because people don't understand what's going on. It's not a black thing or a white thing. It's a system thing. And if you are not hip to what the system's going to do to you, a.k.a. the big penis in the sky, you're going to get fucked. I went to traffic court um, almost this time last year. Because they instituted this new driver database thing. And I had some stuff out there that I paid. But it was in the system as unpaid. I saw white. There was this white. And I used that term. Because I don't, just for you know, I don't believe in the percepts of race. And actually if you do the research. Race came around at the same time that slavery was instituted. Before then it wasn't that big of a deal. But for the sake of this conversation. I use it. No, there was this white girl. Blonde, blue eyed, big breasted. Judge ripped her ass. Totally ripped her ass. She had like this huge eight hundred some dollar fine. Chicks like her didn't get tickets before. The system doesn't care. 
if you are dirty and you get caught, you will suffer consequences. Now, I know there's going to be a whole bunch of black folks who are going to see this and go, like, no, Glenda, no, Glenda, you understand. You know, you, you're you too far removed from where you need, you need to come back and hang with the people and you need to understand. And the thing is, I grew up in damn near abject poverty. I was homeless. I lived in the hood. I don't need to revisit that shit to understand that shit. I haven't forgotten a damn thing. One of the things that keeps me going is remembering being in that room. It was December and it was 17 degrees outside and I had a thin ass blanket on me and no heat. I remember that shit. I don't need to go revisit it. It will never, ever leave me. Which brings me to the next point. There are people who are bitching and whining and complaining about their plight in America, but they don't work hard. They don't even fucking work. Don't even fucking work. At all. But the system ain't working for me. Could be you're not putting forth any effort. So understand, you're going to get a different message here. You're going to get a different level of commentary here because, you know, like I said, anyone that's been here a while knows I don't really hold back. And just that whole shit just set me off because um, I was talking to my daughter about it. And I'm like, don't ever allow yourself to get caught up in that mindset because it's cancerous. It's just corrosive. It actually makes you not try as hard as you should. You go out and you think that people are going to judge you a certain way just because of the way you look. So you are actually walking into the room with not a chip on your shoulder, but a mountain on this shoulder and a mountain on this shoulder. I've seen it. People just expecting bad shit to happen and... Sometimes they make it happen because they bring it in the room with them. And it, it's just, it's unconscionable. It really is unconscionable. Because if you consider yourself a progressive black person in the United States of America, certain mindsets that you may have had when you were younger should be gone. Or you should be working on them. Because shit has changed. Shit has changed tremendously. And people just refuse to accept it because that means that they must look at the sad, sorry state of their life and accept responsibility for not being where they want to be with or be with who they want to be with because they fucked up. It's easier to blame other people. It's easier to rant, rave, and uh, just go on about the inequities of the system. Well, if you are been in America any length of time, you should understand you are the system. You're part of the system. You keep the system going. Until you break free and be start your own system, you have just as much to blame as the system you blame fucking you. Because you have a choice to participate in the system, you have a choice to not participate. And there are many people like, I'm not going to vote. My vote doesn't count. I'm not going to do this. You don't even fucking know the law, you know, the constitutions, the amendments. They have no clue. Yet, when those same amendments are changed or create problems for you, then you oh, it's an injustice when you were asleep at the wheel when the car ran off the road. So, you know, this is pretty much for everyone, but just for folks who we got this same stuff here and come and understand, I think totally different than many black people. I don't hold these thoughts, process, and this is something that's come over a long period of time of looking at life, reading books, reading philosophies and observations. I walk forward in this thing called life and feel that I can be successful. Things happen. Have I been racially profiled? Yeah, it happens. Not often. Not often at all. And the thing is, when I started looking for success, I found it. When I was looking for bullshit, I found it. So what you're looking for is typically what you're going to find. So if you're a young black male, hear me and hear me now you can design a beautiful life for yourself read books read a lot of books make choices of yourself if you have friends who are doing things that are illegal part ways don't hang out with them leave them the fuck alone because I understand the drive and the pressure to be cool and to be part of that but Ask yourself this, is it worth that high of hanging out with someone for 30 minutes that can cost you 30 years of pain? There are many young black males who are going to jail, not because they committed crimes, but because they were with someone that committed crimes and refused to say shit. Because, you know, somehow putting your own freedom 
at risk to protect someone you barely know makes a lot of sense to a lot of people. I will call the police on your ass in a heartbeat. Uh, I've done it before and people are like, why'd you do that? You know, it wasn't that sick. I'm like, yes it was. <laughs> yes it was. I will do that shit in a heartbeat. Because the system, you know, it's just this, this whole thing with we ain't gonna call the police, we're not gonna go to court, we're not gonna do these things. We're system is there to help you now going with my original saying don't hate the player don't hate the game learn the fucking rules so you can win that plays a heavy role into what's going to happen when you engage in certain things but do not get caught up in this shit do not get caught up in this mindset like i love the fact that most people under 25 if you're a cool dude or you're a cool girl you're a cool dude that's it there's no for or no that's it and people my age i'm 47 are walking around with some old notions refusing to see that the world has changed massively it's like more things to no it's just there's certain people i'm still friends with but i don't really hang out with because they've got that jacked up mentality just uh, a lot of people separate themselves based on choice not force it's like we're going to live here because we want to live here not because anyone's forcing us to live here that redlining stuff used to happen. It was very, very real. It's not real now. And someone's going to come challenge me on that. Some um, African American scholar is going to tell me all this stuff. And to you, African American scholars, I got a question for you. What the fuck do you produce for this country? I mean, seriously, what the fuck do you create? What the fuck do you produce? What do you make? What do you, what do you contribute versus verbiage? Do you build anything? Do you write any books? Do you educate people? Do you save lives? What do you fuck do you contribute to society? Because I've looked at it, and it's one thing to know your culture and your background. I think that's a beautiful thing to do. But if that's your degree, don't be mad when you don't make any money. <laughs> that shit, all social programs are under assault. Everything's getting cut and it's going to get cut again and again and again because there are more and more people who are on the system. I mean, I'm quite sure someone's going to come in and leave one of those comments and another lost brother and so on and so forth. But I'm cool with that because I've gotten that before. The whole deal is, what I'm telling you is, if you want to be successful in America as a black person, you can be. It's a choice. It is none of this other bullshit that people are telling you because I want you to think are you a hero or are you a victim what are you because as long as you're a victim you're going to keep getting bent over and it's a damn shame when it's your own hand that's pushing your own neck down right that's the end of this rant I just had to get it out of my system the shit was driving me crazy I was just like ah, this stuff's got to stop it's 2014 it really is Alright, this is Glendon, and I'll see you on the good side.